Welcome back to I'm a Fan Reaction Channel. I haven't seen this movie in like 15 years. I was a preteen, I believe. I remember it being sad, but really good. So let's get right into it. I'd been here a good while when they come. You come here, it must have been 1932. Yeah, oh, man. Shit, that's like... That's 65 years, son. Now, didn't they burn up in that fire yesterday? Listen, man. I seen them niggas before they put them in the box. And when I tell you them niggas there was bacon burnt, <laughs> it was like some shit from the X-Files, man. So what were they, bootleggers? I do not remember Sonia Lathan being in this movie. What? Oh. That's one of my favorite actresses. Like, oh my gosh. You know what I'm about to buy my first paycheck? What, baby? Season tickets to the Yankees. I was hoping you were going to say an engagement ring, Claude. Engagement ring? That's what no. respectable folks do. Yeah. Get a job, get married, start having babies. <laughs> That's what you want, isn't it? Baby, I just don't see no reason to rush into things, that's all. But look, fellas, I, I got a bill to pay out there. Look at here. $22. That's two weeks' pay, man. I'm here with my girl. You got to leave me something. How about your legs? Ray Gibson! We went to high school together. How you doing, man? You went to Monroe? Monroe, yeah! It feels good to see colored folks doing good for themselves. <laughs> yeah, well, I went to Jefferson. So you must have a different Claude Banks in mind. Excuse me. There's no monkey yeah. in there, honey. I think I said this in my Harlem Nights reaction video. I really want to go to a jazz club. Like, live music, everyone's dressed all nice, looking good. Like, I really want to go to a jazz club, man. The bill? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, the bill. How can I forget the bill? Just tell me where you want me to go. Hey, you're pushing on the over there. You want to put my ankle, man. What do you think they're going to do to us? I was thinking about going to business for myself. Under present circumstances, I think I might take on a partner. What'd you I say? was supposed to wear this suit on my day! Give me the front money and the truck. <laughs> sure hope you can drive. I'll tell you what, though, this little rum. I wonder if back in the day, going to loan sharks were really the thing to do. Like, I wonder if that was like. Everyone went to loan sharks to like help them get by. You know something, Claude? Fuck you. I don't take my business elsewhere. For future references, you will not be welcome at Ray Boom Boom Room. There's no boom boom. When there is one, when there is a boom boom room, don't come down to the motherfucker because you ain't getting in. Hello? Shit. I know that feeling. No. no, these are whites only pies. But do you have any Negro pies? Hey, uh, Claude, come on now. This woman ain't got the recipe to no Negro pie. Okay, we are hungry, okay? We want, Billy, we want some pie. <laughs> let, me, let me take you. Well, well, somebody got the die because you want some pie. Let me take you. Which black person are you? I hate confrontation. So as soon as I walked in there and saw, like, everything stop and they stared at me, I was like, okay, I'm out. How much it gonna cost to turn one of them white only pies? Into nigger pie. How about I turn y'all into nigger pie? So you say about 35. 35 miles. Okay, we find, yeah, maybe find another establishment down the road. You know, we, you know, we don't have a problem. That's it, fellas. 36 cases. Mississippi's finest. They're in Mississippi? Oh, no wonder they got, they got life in prison. Mississippi? Hell, I still want to even go through Mississippi nowadays. Oh, oh, damn. Yeah, country folks can drink. Honey. You got your money, Claude? Two dollars, but I need that to get home. Good to me. I think I'll cover it. Now Call. you better win. You better win. <laughs> New York. New York. I thought we agreed that you was gonna leave town. I was gonna leave Sheriff Mike. But your wife, she begged me to stay. <laughs> <laughs> Some niggas were bold back then. <laughs> and you still got that $2? Uh, not exactly. 
You see, I met this girl. I knew she was a prostitute. I knew it. Girl, real nice girl, Ray. A uh, god fan girl. Same guy I seen you over here? Yeah, she looked religious. Hand that twin. I'm all shot. I just want to get back to New York, right? What makes you think? Oh, man. Ray, Ray. Is he dead? I think he's hurt pretty bad, man. That was our licking we tempt, but the man was dead. That's the truth. You boys don't have anything to worry about then, do you? I guarantee. You. I'll see y'all in the morning. Leave us, right? This is why I remember this movie being so sad because, like, back then you had to be squeaky clean. Because it's a perfect setup for them. Of course they're going to go to jail for life. You're in fucking Mississippi for one. That's, that's it. You're in Mississippi. That's case closed. You're in Mississippi. And you're black, nigga. Ah, sad. Life! What do you mean, like? Hell no, I ain't doing no life. I'm taking this to myself. It's a mistrial. It's a mistrial. We got no fences here at Camp 8. We don't need no fences. We got us the gun line. Tell them about the gun line, boss. If outside the gun line without my permission, you will be shot. Okay, I know this movie has a lot of humor in it, but the reason why I stopped watching slave movies, stop watching, like, injustice type of movies, because, like, I hate the feeling that I get. Like, I feel like I want to cry right now. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just hate situations like this when it comes to like black people being oppressed and being like, injusted. And <sighs> yeah, this is why it's the last time I'm watching this movie. The last time. You mean to tell me none of y'all could read? The last fella who could read me for all what, around Christmas. I don't even know who this come from. Apparently your sister died too. Did you? Don't say Marlene here. Marlene died. Oh, no, 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 Marlene. Jen, Jenny, Jenny died too. Jenny and Marlene both. <laughs> then it goes on for a while. Uh, crap didn't come in on account of the frost. Then a big tornado in which your mama and your daddy were both killed. Uh, well, don't worry, because she's going to take care of the dog. <laughs> that is, if he gets over the worms. Dog had worms. Appreciate it. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Anytime I can help. <laughs> it's not funny. But damn, that's what type of unlucky mother is he? Damn. Hey, 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 hey. How you doing? Party. Fine, thank you. Name Jingle A, Jingle I appreciate it. Jingle A? Jingle A, Jingle Claw. Claw. Yeah, Claw. Right. Maybe I ought to eat your cornbread. Oh, motherfucker, you can't have my cornbread. That's for damn sure. Because if you try to take my cornbread, part two of my killing spree gonna begin up in here on your ass right now. Right. If you think about my cornbread, right. they get the taste out your mouth. That's for damn sure. Now, fuck him. It's gonna be consequences and repercussions. <laughs> Yeah, that guy. I I think he was in Harlem Nights. He was like the friend of the other guy whose brother got killed. I got a better shot of getting out here on my own. You tell Melvin to think about me, right? Just concentrate on me, Claude. He's not the sole reason why you're in there. Like, take some accountability for what you did too, um, Claude. <laughs> That's right, fellas. Catch any cab heading up town because all the drivers know about Ray's boom boom. Hey, Ray. Where am I? Come on, go mouse. Somebody's gotta watch the door. Get clean off that damn thing. I'll whoop your ass. Something wrong with your ears? Move it. You about ready to spend the night in the hole, boy. Now shut up and go to sleep. You got that, boy? Oh. Huh? Now I don't want to hear another peep about no fucking boom boom room. <laughs> Besides the fake ass overseer, do you think 
jails back then were nicer. Not not nicer as the facility being nicer, but like the camaraderie between all these fucking criminals. I feel like maybe they were nicer to each other because they just end up in bad situations and they're all going to be there. It probably just need to be in delusional and wishing for the best because they're in terrible situations being black then. Some of them probably wrongfully in there. But maybe the jails were like, Friendlier as in like people, other criminals to each other. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Shut your mouth and your fat ass, boy. Oh. Don't be playing with yourself. Well, if you're thinking about booking it, I want in. I think we we can make it. We? Hey, ain't you the one who told me wasn't no we? You filed a pill on my behalf. On your behalf? What happened to we, Claude? What happened to we? Ray's appeal was denied. Well, I'm glad. The days he went and fell for Melvin Alley and engaged to be married. Can you believe that? I don't blame Sonata Lathan. I don't know her, her name in this movie. <laughs> I don't blame his girlfriend, like, the lawyer or the for-lifer. <laughs> Girl. Uh, uh. <laughs> smile. <laughs> well, somebody in this camp, I can feel it in my bones. You know who the daddy of that chocolatey baby is? Huh? You do? Well, who is it? Lying, I'm the father of that baby, boss. Boss, I'm that baby's daddy. <laughs> Any fool can see that baby belongs to me. I be the pa, boss. I'm the pa of that dear youngin, boss. Out of peppy. <laughs> <laughs> Sit here with your ass looking all sad. You got the best news of the day. You sitting here looking sad. I'm gonna go over here and slow ground with this sheep. You chill up. You going home, man? Right? Man, that's good news. Now, come on. Now you going home? Where you going, biscuit? Oh, where you going, boy? Don't do that. Do it. Don't do that. Do that. Do that. Shit. <laughs> He didn't want to go home, turned out. That's why I'm so happy more people can be themselves nowadays. Farms don't come cheap. I mean, that kid can hit. I'm not gonna let it go, Ray. No, I'm not, okay? The man said he was gonna put in a good work. Explain, explain yourself. At least the kid's getting out. That's what you wanted, right? Hopefully he's able to like make it big and like see his son again, or at least like meet his son, you know? You can't ride people's coattails. All right, that thing. Step off them bottles. If so much as one toe hit that dirt, I want you to shoot him right in his ass. You don't want to give me that gun. But I'd probably mean? shoot you with it. Uh -huh. Oh, damn. You're a fool. I'd have taken that deal. Oh, gee, damn. One of my toes in the bottle. Damn it. <laughs> Great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Claude. Oh, you will. the mayor is still alive well i guess he was probably like 50 so 28 years like probably late 70s okay never mind 
Um, so Claude gets to be a house nigga, and Ray is outside in the field, Dave. <laughs> That's fucked up. You've been on the farm for quite a spell, haven't you? Over 40 years now. M me and Ray Gibson out there. 40 years. It's a long time for any crime, even murder. It's a hell of a lot longer when you're innocent. Half the men in this prison swear they're innocent, Claude. Don't you think that's kind of funny? But you have to forgive me if I don't laugh. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Yes. Mmm. Nigga, I want to talk about the plan you've been working on. I ain't working on no plan, right? <laughs> I knew you. And I know when you got something brewing. <laughs> What I got brewing? You what I got brewing, Ray? You tell me. You done lost your damn mind, Ray. It's been a while since you since you've been around people. That's sad. His whole life has gone by. Goddamn word on her nose. Yeah, I know it. I'll tell you. I got to know her goddamn gallbladder like the back of my goddamn hand. Claude? Yeah, it's getting late. And I sure as hell could use a nice hot bath. That's a, that's a mighty fine time piece you got there, Mr. Pike. You can play a fancy tune, huh? My wife gave it to me on her anniversary some years back. Mm -hmm. About 40 years back. Yeah, something like that. Give me that scar on your face, too. I ought to kill you for that remark, boy. What's going on here? Well, I think I might just have to teach this uppity nigger a lesson in manners. Oh! Oh! Ray, now be cool. Yeah, then we ain't about to be some shot up motherfuckers here. Now wait a minute, don't nobody shoot nobody. Ray, now, now I want to see this son of a bitch dead just like you. That black don't think my dad ever gave me and he got it. Tell him what you did. Is there any truth in what this man is saying? What the hell difference does it make? At least the state of Mississippi got 40 years of cheap labor out of the deal. No, I know, I know. 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 One of the deputies is a member of my church. Gibson, I'll get Charlotte to throw up your pardon papers in the morning. What happened is old man Wilkins never come out of the bathroom. Sit right there and died on the shit. What? <laughs> <laughs> messed up for them, man. What? To them after that, old timer. To go out on the toilet? Why are you taking a shit? That must be one a hell of a shit. Damn. Oh my god. Shit. We all got old. And getting out took on a whole new meaning. Look like Jonesy got his walking paper. Yeah, there you go. Go! Steal a couple of bodies from the morgue, right? That way, when they set the infirmary on fire, find the two bodies, they think it was them. Well, what makes you think that ain't work? I never said it didn't work. Okay. What you mean to tell me that this is not Ray and Claude in these two boxes? You know what? Oh. Hell with it. Get here with these football. Yankees on fire. Yeah, the motherfucker kicking ass. <laughs> They ended the movie with City High. Oh, that was a good song back in the day. For some reason, I thought they got out through the Innocence Project, but maybe they didn't. They got out by finessing the shit. Wow, I remember this movie being way more sad. In general, they took a very like unfortunate concept of being innocent, thrown in prison for life, into something that was comedic. 40 years of your life just thrown away from because of a racist ass white man. As soon as they said Mississippi, I was like, oh, of course. 
Like, of course, back in the day, most of America was racist, but Mississippi? <laughs> Even now, the prisons in Mississippi are straight up just garbage. Nothing negative to say about this movie, to be honest. Great storyline, great actors. They did their thing with this movie. I really love it. I am a fan of this movie, okay? Thank you all for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time.